Hey there, welcome to another edition of Ted's Barcade. So I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about how my barcade has changed here at the Casa. And uh, it is, uh, today's date is September 29th, 2018. I have something special to show you. These are virtual pinball arcades with one, about 1,860 something games, maybe 61. And as you can tell, I have Donkey Kong, and that has a, a, a myriad of vertical games which you can play, and it plays it on the play field. As we make our way around, uh, I just want to show you a little bit about what I've created. I took the marquees and I cut a piece of wood in order to have them up on my uh, uh, barcade. And as you can see, it, they fit quite nicely. I also did the same thing here with the Sport of Kings. And over here I'm showing the same, I have two of these virtual pinball arcades. I'm showing the ACDC pinball game. And uh, it's quite simple, you can just go straight in, you press the one player, and you're in. Now what's really cool is these accept coins. So uh, it's very useful in uh, different uh, places, venues, and they're multi-games. So you get the arcades and the pinballs in here. This is virtual pinball. So mainly these are Steam games, but in here there's also replicas of the electromechanical games from the 60s, 70s, and up. So it's pretty neat. Uh, it's uh, the ball is here, and it works just like it does in the arcade. The only difference is it's a little bit different feel. However, it does provide hours of amusement and recreation. Over here to the right, I want to call out that I am a licensed and listed Crosley distributor now of jukeboxes and other items such as turntables from Crosley. This is an excellent, excellent item. And if you are interested, please let me know by responding through Google+. So we make our way to the right. I've replaced uh, the cocktail tables with two slots. One is African Treasure. This is made by Konami. And it has interchangeable games that are on cards. So the card has a CD player, and then it has the game. It it's, uh, plays excellent, and the sound is terrific. I really enjoy this because it's a five-line reel and it has all these cool graphics in it, along with a progressive bet system. It's, uh, and the cabinet's in absolutely dynamite shape. You can tell the, the uh, vintage look here. It's also on a pedestal at the bottom. And then at the top here, I still have my Derby Owners Club Arcade. And then up here, I'm also selling these. These are replica payphones. You may remember these from the 80s, where you had a, a nickel and a quarter. Let's see if we can see that. Yes, the different slots. So you had dimes, nickels, quarters, and these are an excellent addition to accent your game room if you want that for your home arcade. Over here is the Game King. This is made by IGT, the largest slot manufacturer in the world, located in Reno, Nevada here in the US. And as you can tell, we have many different games on here. What I like is that you get slot machines, uh, a myriad of poker games, deuces wild, you can play blackjack, poker, kino, and slots, as well as blackjack, which is, um, did I say blackjack enough? It's excellent, and it's a touch screen. It accepts bills, and it has tickets for ticket in, ticket out. Uh, in the state of Arizona, it's perfectly legal to have a functioning slot machine inside of your home. It's not illegal. One of the little side notes that I'll drop. Okay. So, as you can tell over here, we have ACDC. If I want to scroll through the menu, I can do that, okay? I want to point out we also have the DMD. Now, I'm going to exit, go to the main menu. And this is called the back glass in this area. Once we're at the main menu, I can now float through these games in alphabetical order. I think there's 1,861 games. Right now, I have it on free play. So, we have pinballs, virtual pinballs, and arcades. So I really enjoyed this because it's tied into uh, uh, Steam. So it's a front end, you can get it there, and it really makes it a lot of fun. So there's some classic games as well as the EMs. So I'm going to select one randomly, see what we get. There we go. What is this? A Zurian attack. I have no idea how to play that. Never played it in the arcade. Do it again. Do over. Okay, what do we got here? The Bermuda Triangle. It's out of Japan. I kind of imported this. Let's see, what else? Berserk, Big Top. It's all here. It's really awesome. So, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and go into a game. I think
think the cabinet style is excellent. The legs are perfect, as you can see, and they fit just great. Uh, in comparison, I'll show you the, the height of a stool next to the legs. It all reminds you of the classic 80s arcade. And then you can put credits in with the button that I've conveniently drilled and installed. And so what I want to do, this is an EM game. I want to play. There we go. Remember this? You had all kinds of bells and different types of things, and there's a different feel and experience when you play the electromechanical games. I mean, it doesn't really get any better. And sometimes you have to put in more coins than one in order to play a game, which is really okay. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you a different game. That's an EM called Big Top. And this one is more of, okay, we can get into uh, different games. Let's see, I think we have one in here. Where is it? There we go. So, lots of pinballs, as I mentioned before. And then there's some main items as well. Some bowling, which is really popular. And, uh, Captain Commando. <laughs> Uh, Centigrade 37. I see this from time to time. It's a godly. It's a classic. I just love the artwork on this stuff. You can tell it was hand drawn back then. It gives the date 1977. The artwork is definitely something that's unique inside of pinball games. Oh, I want to call this out. It does have legible, and I mean legible, uh, play instructions. Three balls per play. It goes around. It tells you more. Okay, you can replay for a high score. And, uh, also, it has, uh, looks like a sticky note someone added to the artwork. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what else? So, just tons of really good games. I think there's one in here called Defender. You guys might have been familiar with that. Defender, Stargate, those kinds of items. And so, if I look in here, I've got... There it is. There's Defender. So, I can go ahead and play this. I want to show you this. Here's what happens. So, in this area here, the vertical games appear. Up here, the horizontal games appear. See? So what's happening is that it's built into the programming to know what is a horizontal and vertical to give you that close to authentic experience. These are LCDs, and the cabinets are just excellent. I mean, look at this craftsmanship. Uh, this is ABS plastic on the top, American layout, as you can tell, six buttons. And uh, there it is. Add a couple of credits. And away you go, you play. It's excellent. The joysticks are here. The buttons on the side where you can play for virtual pinball. And of course it has a traditional three buttons on the side. Each one has a function. All of these buttons are, one is credit, one is escape. And then, of course, oh, I forgot to mention this. This has a plunger as well. So that is really nice. So it gives you that authentic look. It's fairly space efficient too. Uh, each one of these tiles is uh, 12 inches, so as you can tell, it's just about 4 feet long and uh, 3 feet wide. It stands approximately uh, 6, 2, 6, 3, and it just makes an excellent addition to Ted's Barcade. Thanks for watching. Have a great time.